Hi, I'm Mark Moeller, demonstration pilot with Textron Aviation. Welcome to the CJ3 Gen 2 cockpit, ideal for single pilot operations. One of the features that makes the cockpit ideal for single pilot operations in the aircraft is the integration that's taken place with the G3000 avionics. If you look at a tilt panel, you'll notice that there's a significant reduction in switches, knobs, or rheostats as compared to older aircraft. They have now been relocated into the Garmin touch controller. Another feature that leads to good single pilot operations in the aircraft are the pilot windshields. The side windshields as well as the forward windshields offer excellent visibility. And when you combine the pilot's chairs, feature of high vertical adjustment or low vertical adjustment or seat tracking forward and aft, it just leads to a nice large field of view. The Gen 2 cockpit has two large pilot flight displays as well as a large multifunction display and two Garmin touch controllers. All are well within reach for single pilot operations and easily configurable. Easy ingress and egress of the cockpit is due largely in part to the pedestal on the aircraft. We gained four and a half inches of seat travel due to cabinetry redesign and system redesign. The G3000 incorporates the latest software load which improves functionality and user experience. Full flight regime auto throttles are now included in the aircraft. The auto throttles can be controlled either through the flight management system or can manually be controlled. The features include underspeed protection, overspeed protection, and the auto throttles can be used from takeoff to just about landing. When I think of EVS or the enhanced vision system, I think about uncontrolled or non-towered airfields. Poor visibility, it might be in the morning. It just allows for peace of mind on takeoff and landing to make a decision before executing. The avionics is capable of CPDLC to communicate with air traffic control. One of my favorite features to the G3000 is how the system initializes and walks the pilot through the initialization process for getting ready for the flight. It starts at the top with database. Each item as you go through and verify or do an action item will end up getting a check mark by it. So when it comes time to fly, you have the system set up and ready to go. Another favorite feature of mine is the ADS-B in and out and the ability to overlay that traffic on any display. I find this comes in particularly handy when I'm flying in busy terminal areas and I may be following a larger, heavier, faster moving aircraft and allows me to make the decision if I need to slow down and provide for a little bit more spacing. As far as performance, the aircraft has a top speed of 416 knots. It has a range of 1,800 nautical miles, one pilot, four passengers, or a maximum range of 2,000 nautical miles. Standard takeoff field length, 3,200 feet. Standard landing distance is about 2,800 feet. Average fuel burns would be 1,000 pounds for the first hour, or 150 gallons, or 700 pounds per hour subsequent, or 105 gallons per hour. As far as creature comforts go in the cockpit, the aircraft has connectivity available. You can use your flight plan on your smart device and you can import it directly into the Garmin touch controllers. The galley from the left pilot chair is easily accessible. I can reach the remote station and control the cabin as well. There are two cup holders by each pilot chair and you also have USB-C and universal charging capability in the cockpit. Thanks for joining me today in the CJ3 Gen 2 cockpit. It's just a great airplane to fly. It offers reliability, redundancy, peace of mind, and excellent economics. I look forward to seeing you out in the field.